Yep. Yep. I know why you're happy, King Boo. I know why. <laughs>switch news items for this video the first one well this came out of nowhere nintendo has just grabbed another patent this one specifically has to do with online online gaming the patent specifically says it's for information processing a patent for multiplayer battles it looks like Nintendo is finally going to take online seriously. Now, the Switch lit. Oh, the system is so good. So beautiful. My favorite console this generation. But one area where we can say Nintendo has fallen behind is online. Features just the, the overall experience Nintendo is behind Xbox and Sony there's no denying it but this patent seeks to improve online multiplayer now there's a, a, a couple of listings a um, couple of descriptions of, of what the patent in, entails but the gist of it is to improve online as far um, online multiplayer as far as matchmaking um the points that you'll receive how the points are calculated all the things that go on behind the scenes but for us a better um experience and i think this is needed and this also tells us that nintendo we don't know what game this is going to be implemented in this new patent but for future games coming out, expect to see possibly, especially from Nintendo first party games, a better online experience. Nintendo needs to continue to improve online multiplayer and this patent could do it. It could give us a better online uh, multiplayer experience. So we'll have to wait and see. But I thought this was interesting. I had to share this with you. But there's so much more in this video, bro. Luigi's Mansion 3 the reviews are in and <laughs> what we expected the game looks to be phenomenal great right now it's standing at an 86 on Metacritic bro <coughs> Nintendo games their first party games are just just score good bro nintendo polished their games i bet you there's not going to be a whole bunch of glitches and things that need to be fixed once the game comes out it's going to be very polished they're going to be minor tweaks and adjustments but the game by critics um have been getting raving reviews a couple of notable reviews this is just off of metacritic vgc gave the game 100 um um Power Unlimited 92, Games Beat gave it a 92, IGN Italia gave it a 91, Forbes gave it a 90, <coughs> um, Nintendo Enthusiast gave it a 90, Games Radar gave it a 90, um, Shaq News a 90, Nintendo Life gave it a 90, Eurogamer Italy gave it a 90, let's scroll down to some of the other ones. Um, Level Up gave it an 85. Game Informer gave it, a, gave it an 85. IGN gave it an 83. A IGN gave the game an 83, which a in the 80s at 8.3 is great. So the game is getting good reviews. And I've learned today most of the single player campaign can be done co-op, not online. Nintendo improve your online it would have been lit if we could do the single player campaign online but locally if you have two players you can do it on um the single player um locally you can do it t together co-op with another user once you unlock 
Guiji. And Guiji is unlocked right at the beginning of the game. And so for most of the single player campaign, you could play local co-op, which is cool. Better than nothing. Would have been ideal. I will be playing this with my kids, the, the, the single player campaign. But would have been dope if it had some kind of online for the single player campaign. There is a whole new online mode the scare scraper which looks dope that you can play with friends and with randoms so we're getting there we're getting there but good to see that the game has gotten great reviews it's already preloaded on my switch we ready to go the 31st is gonna be lit halloween speaking of luigi <laughs> chance the rapper was on saturday night live and he says he hates mario and likes Luigi. He had a little rap of uh, number twos, and he gave some love to <laughs> Luigi. I thought that was dope. Shout out to Chance. All right, next news item. Were you upset like the rest of the world for Sonic the Hedgehog? This is what Sonic looked like. <laughs> Monstrosity. I said this. He looks like those bootleg disney um characters in new york city <laughs> where people want you to take a picture with them <laughs> the bootleg disney characters that's what he looks like but a leaked image of the revised they revised his design and this is what he looks like so much better this is the sonic we know and love and critic fans are pleased so far with this leaked image and i have to say a big improvement he looks more like sega genesis sonic not this garbage <laughs> what were they thinking bro <laughs> the muppets come on come on sega all right next news item bro if you're looking to get a nintendo switch you might want to hop on this walmart deal live right now Walmart is offering a free Nintendo Switch game with the purchase of a Switch console. Now, they do have a select um, few games that you could choose from, but it's better than nothing. If you buy a Switch right now at Walmart, you can choose from getting free either Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, or super mario party all dope games and so i think that's a pretty good deal and i think it's like a 30 30 bucks off of the games because they said the whole thing costs is three 329 bucks so you in the, in the end you save about 30 bucks but i thought that was cool wanted to share interesting to see what the black friday deals for nintendo will be now don't hold your breath for any kind of price drops for the Switch. Nintendo ain't about that life. What We're going to see deals like this, bundles, where <coughs> you buy a Switch, get a game free, something like that. But um, you're gonna have to, <laughs> Nintendo, you're going to have to shell out at least $300 to get a Switch. All right, next news item. I thought this was pretty dope, bro, and something every developer needs to do. If you buy... Resident Evil 5 or 6 on your Switch and you're dissatisfied with the controller options, you're in luck. They are patching post-launch Resident Evil 5 and 6 to include gyro aiming. That's right, bro. Ever since I started using gyro aiming on Splatoon 2, all my shooters, I can't play a shooter without motion aiming now bro it's so much more accurate i was killing it last night in overwatch with that motion aiming and so um motion aiming will be patched into resident 5 and 6 on the switch every nintendo controller going forward needs to have motion aiming it's just a cool addition and if you don't like it it's optional turn it off all right next the last news item for this video a new fortnite event has been announced and they did this last year but it's coming back fortnite's halloween fortnite mirrors event will be starting october 29th at 9 a.m eastern standard time so 
Um, they didn't go into detail or what it's going to have specifically, but um, it's going to be a Halloween themed event. Expect skins, um, probably a new game mode for a limited time. And so a new Fortnite event coming in time for Halloween. Boy, I mentioned Overwatch in this video. I'm going to be tonight, I'm going to be playing Overwatch and Fortnite with the sponsors later tonight. If you want to join a dope Nintendo Switch gaming community, the link's in the description on how to join. Three ways to join through Twitch, through YouTube, or Patreon. Check out the description of this video. Bro, game with your boy. Get inside our private um, gaming Discord chat. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click the subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy.